kinds. You guys see this? Huh? Show you. He wasn't hooked. There's the hook and the bait. Howdy folks, Josh here with the Weekend Angler out on Lake Mendota here in Madison, Wisconsin. And guys, it is May. It is Mendota in May and we are chasing big channel cats. So stick around. All right, guys, conditions are a little bit different than they were last year when we were up here. And the big thing is all the grass that we were dealing with last year in this lake, it hasn't come up yet. Water temperatures are mid 60s. It should be here, but it's not. And uh, that has really scattered these fish. So we've been out here today all day trying to find some fish, get on some fish that would bite. It's been a little bit of a struggle but I've come up with a working pattern and guys, you know how much I hate dragging, but it's been the only thing working for me today. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, caught a few nice fish today. Check them out. Trying to look at the weather radar. Come here, you. Traffic cone number two. Come here, you. Hit it, come on, plumb out of the water. Let's get a weight on it. See what we got here. All right. Got 12.43. Got us a dragon fish. He jumped plumb out of the water whenever he bit too. All right, let's get him back in the water. There go my grippers. All right, we take him. Let's try and look at the weather. Storm's moving in on us here in a bit. On the old 
dragon rig with a head and salt water super spook. So let's get back out there. Ooh, that's fun. Then back in the rod holder and do it again. turned around we're uh, dragging into the wind now that should make it a little bit more stable we might be having a wild boat ride to give me a little bit more control over the speed and our and our heading and uh, what I've done I've just aimed us towards the uh, rock island at the uh, opening of the uh, bay here and we're just going to ride it out and uh, drag along we've got the trolling motor set to two which has given us about 0.4 miles per hour roundabout and uh, you guys know I've, I've not been shy about the fact that I'm not a, uh, a fan of dragging. I don't know if that's the right term. I'm not confident when it comes to dragging. I've caught more fish in the past six months by dragging than I have in probably the past six years. But uh, I'm still not overly confident in it. But uh, we just had that one bite hooked up. Nice fish, 12 and a half pounds or so. And uh, he come jumping up out of the water. Uh, with the weeds not being in yet this year, this is this is definitely uh, a whole lot easier to drag through. Last year it would have been impossible. We tried for a little while and, and it just wasn't going to work. But uh, we got three lines out, uh, one pretty far, one up close, and then uh, one I cast almost all the way up on the bank and then just let it... Uh, let it roll some line out even more so that's our longest line there and uh, two of them have zero spooks on there one of them has a slotted peg float so we'll see what happens and see if we can come up with another fish we're working our way back kind of towards the boat ramp so uh, let's drift along see what we could find we've got, we've got a carp photo bombing us back there I don't know if you guys were able to see that or not but uh, the carp spawn is is coming in pretty heavy out here uh, just like it was last year, the carp's jumping out of the water, going crazy. And uh, we'll see you guys here in just a bit.
slacked it. Took off that one. Too. This makes fit. Look at this guys we snagged somebody else's rig all right we're undone We're going to free this guy from that rig here in just a second. Oh. Quit biting so hard. All right. We're back on course to Rock Island. Show you what we got here got into that thing all right this guy has somebody else's rig wrapped all the way through his gills so buddy you hit the lottery biting my lines because i'm going to remove all that stuff from you there we go I'm going to dispose of that. I'm going to get a weight on you. And I'm going to let you go better than you started out. So, about 6.4 pounds. Big, ugly, spawning male. He's beat up from that rig, but guess what, buddy? We're gonna let you go. Rippers are open. You just gotta swim away now. All right, see you, pal. There we go. That's wild. That is, I don't really know how that happened. But we take it. He's a fish. But I don't really, not really sure how that one came to be. But we're going to count him. So that makes a couple fish there. What, three fish dragon, something like that? I don't know. I've lost count. I ain't really been paying attention. get some line out here we're back on course for our island we got three rods in the water let's switch those back there we go they've gotten gotten back the way they're supposed to be so uh, not bad for the first day fishing see you guys in a minute
ver, cara. Ah, agora aqui. Ah, come here. You're going in this net. See? Told you. They're digging that white, uh, digging that white, uh, spook. They had a bite on the other one. All right, get out here. All right. Nothing huge today, but fun to catch. Settle down. I'm gonna let you go. Hey, I'm gonna let you go. I'm your best friend out here. You got today. Ah, let's say 8.5 roundabout on the Telltale Rapala scale. Here we go. Like I said, nothing huge today. Pretty color. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Nice olive brown. All right. See you, pal. Grippers are open. You just gotta swim away. Just can't have a grip. What do you mean? Still on track for the island. I think we found a uh, we found a drift line we could do something with too. Let's cut us another piece of bluegill. <laughs> Come here. Get pulled up. A piece of bluegill. Uh -uh. All right. Not convinced it's going to be in our best interest to do it that way. That was a bite. Might be getting ready to hook up again, guys. All right, that one's back in the holder. Nothing on that. And we'll continue on. Oh, that's fish pulled from back. Let's get ready to end the video, guys. In the net. Might be the best one of the day. I'm right here at the end. I was getting ready to end the video, guys. Let's get 
get you one. Cool. Hooks out. Net out of the way. All right, I think he might be the best one so far today. Let's get a weight on him. Yeah. Oh, yep. Best one so far. 13, 13.75. Nice looking fish. Let's get him back in the water. Hey. guys well that's going to pretty much bring us to the end of day one out here at lake mendota nothing over 20 no huge cats today they still haven't made an appearance but uh definitely some aggressive cats and uh they made for a fun bite out here dragon baits guys you know i even harp on it that i don't really care for dragon baits and it's not a technique specific thing it's i lack the confidence in it but uh Oh. I was trying to end this video, guys. You're going to get a bonus fish. I'm trying to shoot an ending to a video, fish. Thank you for coming and seeing us. You want to go over here? Okay. You can go over here. That's fine with me. All right, one in the net. Small one. But he is one. Get the emergency grippers out. <laughs> bonus fish right here at the end of the video look at that nice healthy little channel cat we're not gonna weigh him he's three or four pounds something like that let's get my kaboom there we go we're not even going to rebate we're trying to come off the water we got one rod left We'll try to finish the video with one rod still in the water. We'll get the net up here. Well, that was exciting, wasn't it? <laughs> you guys weren't expecting a bonus fish. And uh, to be honest, neither was I. I thought we were pretty well done. We got one bait left in the water. We might hook up for bonus fish number two, but I'm not going to hold my breath on it. But uh, guys, appreciate you hanging out with me today. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. hope you had fun hanging out here, catching some of these Mendota cats with me. If you get a chance guys get up here if it's not too long of a drive make the drive come up little bitty lake right here in madison wisconsin big channel cats we still got to find them but we've got a working pattern so it's just a matter of time but uh guys that's all i got for this video hope you uh enjoyed it if you did please take a moment give it that thumbs up button that helps that youtube algorithm get my videos out in front of people 
If you're checking me out for the first time, smash that subscribe button and the little bell next to it. That way you get a notification and don't miss any videos when they drop. Guys, we'll be out here tomorrow going after some more fish and see if we can't get some better ones. 13.7 roundabout is the uh, number to beat. So we'll say it takes 14 to uh, be the bigger fish on day two out there at Mendota. We'll see you guys next time.